this video, we're going to take a look at how to use the new normal map intensity and transform nodes. First, let's take a look at the new normal transform node. So here I have a shape that I generated a normal map from, and I'd like to transform this. So here, if we do a search for normal transform, we have this normal transform node. I'll left click to create an instance of this, and let's connect our normal map into the input. So the normal transform is going to give us a transform widget here in the 2D view that we can use to rotate or scale this normal. Now you'll notice that as we start to rotate this normal, the vectors are recomputed so that the data is correct after the transform. Another setting that we have here on this instance parameter is the normal format that you need that you're going to be outputting. So just make sure that you have this set to whatever the orientation of the normal is coming into the transform, meaning is it DirectX or OpenGL. So next I'd like to take a look at the normal intensity node. In this case, I have a normal map that is a bitmap that I've imported into my Substance Designer project. Now, I didn't create this here in Designer, so I don't have any way to adjust the intensity of this normal map. So we've added a node to help you do that, and it's called the normal intensity. So I'm going to just create an instance of this and then take the output of my bitmap and plug this into the normal intensity node. Now for the parameters, you'll notice that we have a very simple intensity slider and we can increase this value to increase the normal intensity. So in some cases, this might introduce some artifacting here to the normal, such as in cases where the normal map has a flat normal value. So in the case of this normal, it was created from the hemisphere shape. So if I grab my shape node here and I'm going to set this guy here to hemisphere, and here, right in the center, we have just a solid white value, which is going to translate just a flat normal value here in the normal map when it's created. So in cases like that, if you have a flat area in your normal map, that is going to remain flat here when we increase this normal intensity. The logic behind how this node works is that it's going to increase whatever vector you put into it. So if you put into it a flat normal, such as what we have here right at the center of this shape, then it will actually remain flat. So in this particular case, that's where we're getting this artifact from. So this has just been a quick rundown of the new normal transform and normal intensity nodes here in Substance Designer Summer 2018 release.